Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William. Today I'm talking about how your Red Wing boots should fit. So after this video, you're gonna know everything you need to know to go ahead, shop online with Red Wing and get the perfect size boots. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, we're talking about everything you need to know to get the right size Red Wings. This is gonna cover the Iron Rangers. This is gonna cover the Mokto. So this is Red Wings Heritage Collection. I'm not gonna really discuss their work boots, uh, although that's, pretty, that's a lot more simple to find the right sizing. But the Heritage Collection, a lot of people have issues on how to get the right size. I have an article version of this, but I wanted to create a video version just to be more helpful. So uh, if that's something you need, watch this video. Um, you can skip ahead to the mock toe. That's the second half. The first half is gonna be about the Iron Ranger, the blacksmith, anything with a bump toe last, the number eight, that's gonna get covered in the first half. So let's get started right now. Basically the short version of this question of how do you get the right sizing. For most people, Red Wing boots fit a half size larger than your sneaker size. So if you're normally a size 11 in sneakers, order a size 10 and a half in Red Wing boots. If you have a more narrow foot, you should get a full size smaller as Red Wing boots tend to have plenty of room in the toes. For people with wider feet, still order a half size smaller, but just get the double E width. Keep in mind, Red Wing boots are pretty variable and a lot of people have different experiences. So I'm gonna give you my experience, but I've also talked to a bunch of different brand representatives, read tons of reviews. I own four different pairs of Red Wings myself. So this is a, a whole bunch of experience. I just hope this is very helpful for you, but ultimately, you know, you, your mileage may vary. I, I just gotta say that upfront, little disclaimer. So here we go. Let's start talking about the Red Wing Iron Ranger sizing. So the Red Wing Iron Ranger is built on the famous number eight bump toe last. This means there is tons of room up here for your toes to spread out and it actually can feel like a looser fit than you would normally get. Now, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, this is a very similar fit to the Blacksmith or the Red Wing Classic Chelsea. Those are all built on the number eight last. So everything I'm telling you here also applies to the Blacksmith, the Beckman, uh, the Round Toe, the Classic Chelsea, anything built on that number eight last. For most people, you want to order the Iron Ranger a half size smaller than your standard sneaker size. So if you wear a size 11 in sneakers like Nike's Adidas, your best bet is to go with a size 10 and a half. That's exactly what I did and the fit is perfect. That said, because of the bump toe style, if you have more narrow feet, you can go a full size down, so like a size 10, uh, for a snug and secure fit. The extra room in the toe, that's gonna be super helpful for you narrow footed fellas. The Iron Ranger is unique in that it should be quite snug around the sides of your foot when you first put it on. It's gonna be pretty tight there and you know you've got the right size if your heel is secure and there's room to wiggle around your toes but there's a slight squeeze along the sides of your arch. The good thing is that portion of the leather, it stretches really quickly, so you're gonna break that in in a matter of days, maybe, maybe weeks. Um, so even though if it starts off snug on the sides of your foot, it's not like that's gonna be an endless amount of pain for you. That said, don't mistake the break-in period for like over tightness. Um, the Iron Rangers, they do require a few, maybe like seven days to a couple weeks. And during that break-in, you can get some blisters. So don't be like, oh man, I'm getting blisters. This is too tight. Um, it does take some time to break those in. So just be a little bit patient with that. When I bought my first pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers, I went into the store and I got measured on their, their cool little like digital device that showed my feet and everything like that. So I know I got the right size, but but if you're not able to pop into a Red Wing store or anything like that, um, make sure you're just checking the uh, return policy. And that makes it a lot a lot easier, you shop on Amazon, uh, super easy to do returns there, whatever you wanna do, but make sure that's one of the best ways is just get your, your first fit and be ready to return it in a quick and easy way. So just make sure you're checking out that return option before you buy. One other thing to note, so because this has a bump toe last, and I'm also gonna hold up the Chelsea here, because this has a bump toe last, you can also get, go a full size smaller. Basically the idea is that you have a, a wider toe box and you have a taller toe box. So you really wanna err on the side of snugness with Iron Rangers or anything with the number eight bump toe last because you know this leather is gonna stretch out. So you'll break it in, it's gonna get wider, but the boot isn't, you know, it has enough room in the toes to wear if you're a size 10 in sneakers and you order a size nine in the Iron Ranger, you're still gonna have room to go in the toe. It's not gonna be cramping up against your toes. So if you're in between sizes, you're, you're not sure, go with the smallest one because Anything uh, with the bump toe last, the number eight, that's the classic Chelsea, the blacksmith, the, um, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, 
anything like that, it's gonna have extra room for you to, to wiggle around your toes. That's not, you're not gonna get crampage there. Now let's move on to Red Wing mock toe sizing. This is the number 23 last, so it's a little bit different. Fits a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. Toe box is a little lower. This goes for the Red Wing mock toe, the rough neck, I believe, and then also the sawmill. I think the sawmill and the rough neck are pretty much the same, except for the sawmill is a little more winterized. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these are basically the same shape. They just have some different details on them. Uh, so this goes for all mock toes that Renwick offers. So the number 23 last, again, is built a little bit larger, especially larger than sneakers. So your starting point should be a half size smaller than your normal sneaker size. Red Wing uses leather from their own SB Foot Tanning Company, which tends to break in and stretch a bit more as it's worn. So this is a desirable quality in leather, but it can cause some folks to buy boots that are a little bit larger than they actually need. When trying on your Red Wing mock toes, it's good to feel a snug fit around the size of your feet. So it's even okay if it feels a little bit tight, know that's gonna stretch out. However, you shouldn't get a mock toe that cramps your toes and your heel should always sit securely in place. The heel is kind of the key to the right fit for Red Wings. Because mock toes have a lot of room in the front and your toes get some space to wiggle around, you shouldn't run into any cramping issues in the toes, otherwise they're too small. But getting a half size smaller than your sneakers, that should give you a snug fit in the sides with plenty of room in the toe still. As you wear your mock toes, they'll break in, the tightness around the sides of your foot will fade away, and it's gonna leave you with the ideal fit. Just like with Iron Rangers, if you have a more narrow foot, you can try ordering a full size smaller than your sneakers uh, with the mock toe. Uh, there's so much room in the toe, you can pretty much get away with that. With both the Iron Rangers and the Mock Toes, or these two last, the 8 and 23, you can't do the thumb press on the toe trick, you know, if you're trying to figure out where your toe is. Uh, it's not going to give you much valuable information because this is pretty firm, so you're not going to really know where your toe's at. So kind of abandon that method and go with mainly uh, the size of your foot. That's where you're going to get the best feeling right there. Red Wing Mock Toes and Iron Rangers, all Red Wing Heritage boots, they're available in size D and double E. That's basically widths. Most people are size D uh, or D width, but guys with wide feet, you're gonna wanna go with a double E. Uh, again, like I said, when getting the Red Wing sizing, it really depends on the shapes of your feet. Red Wing has a lot of options though, so you're definitely gonna be able to find something that works for you. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below because I have a video coming out really, really soon where I am comparing Red Wing uh, retail, like full retail to the factory seconds. So I'm gonna go side by side comparison how do they stack up? So if you've ever been interested in a pair of Red Wing Factory Seconds, uh, there's a video coming out in a few weeks. I'm gonna dive into that whole thing. It is gonna be a super great video. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Uh, again, my name's William. This has been Boots Buy. Till next time, put your best boot forward.